Uh, Rahul, look, it's uh, it's no one's grouse. India is an emerging superpower, and for that reason, it is uh, swimming in infested waters, and the waters are infested with sharks all around. Well, that's not been in doubt. I mean, India has a lot of enemies. But the question, as an Indian, I must ask is, why is my government playing the victim card? Is it not aware that we have enemies? <laughs> is this breaking news? And for that reason, the manner in which this government has come across on both issues, BBC and the Adani issue, frankly, leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, for me, I'll put them down as really amateurish clowns who don't know how to react with intelligence, stealth, and speed. And consequently, they will not be able to survive for very long if they go on like this. So there are three issues here, and I want to speak as a layman. First, a small disclosure. I have never owned, nor do I presently own, any Adani shares. Issue number one. And I want to concentrate on Adani because it's much more important than the BBC issue. One, Rahul, I think both, as I said, the Indian government and Adani enterprises have come across as thorough unprofessionals in this affair. Absolutely appalling the way a multi-billion dollar conglomerate run by the, who was the third richest man on the planet, now he's number 23, was caught like a rabbit in front of a car headlight for three days before conjuring up a response to allegations made by a guerrilla organization known to profit from short selling. And equally appalling was the total lack of response, leave alone timely of the government of India that is invested heavily in and whose banks have lent massively to Adani. This would have been funny were it not so tragic, Rahul, that these amateurish clowns and their lack of timely response has led to the wiping out of $110 billion worth of investor wealth. The response from Adani should have been made within hours of the allegations, where it should have come out personally like it did yesterday. And the government or institutional response of SEBI, RBI, PSU banks, LIC, CAG should have followed immediately. One shudders to think that this Hindenburg template would now be used by other short-selling organizations to damage the credibility and in turn the stocks of other Indian multinationals. And those 430 pages of ridiculously varied font sizes rebuttal what appears to be a confederacy of small town MBA interns should be a reminder that you may have billions, but it is pointless if you don't know on whom to use those billions on. Now to the second issue, Rahul. These male au pairs of Rahul Gandhi, like Jairam Ramesh, who are denigrating Adani enterprises and deriving vicarious pleasure in $100 billion worth of investor wealth wiped out, do not even realize that Congress ruled states like Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan are invested massively in Adani to the tune of 85,000 crores. Mines, power plants, airports, you name it. So, dear dynasty doormats, if you think Adani is immoral and unethical, then cancel all the projects you have given him in Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. Now, finally, to point number three, Rahul. I am ambivalent about the success or failure of a private company because its path is dictated by competition through Darwinian evolution. If the company is honest and develops great products and adapts to the changing environment, it will succeed. So, quite honestly, I view the success or failure of Adani as gravely or lightly as the success or failure of Reliance or Lehman Brothers or Nokia. What concerns me as an Indian is that my nation's wealth has been wiped out, that the barometer of my nation's prosperity, the stock exchange, has suffered, that millions of my fellow countrymen have become poorer because the stock of an Indian company in which our government is heavily invested in has been wiped out. Therefore, Rahul, just 30 seconds. It is absolutely crucial that a scrupulously independent Indian agency come out and either rebut or agree with the claims being made on any Indian large multinational company. And it is not enough for people to say that India has enough checks and balances to detect fraud in time. We clearly don't, judging by the Malia and Nira Modi fiasco. Rahul, if we do not act now, we might as well shut down our stock exchange and start exchanging instead rumors and gossips regarding billion dollar corporations and then dance at their funeral. Short changing a private company is one thing, but all of us have a stake in making sure, Rahul, that no one short changes India. Uh, Rahul, Rahul, to be very honest, if they were rank amateur or clowns, they would not have managed to wipe out $100 billion worth of investors' wealth. So the problem is not who they are. The problem is Adani and the government were so slow 
in rebutting them now uh, you know a bit due respect to my good friend ashutosh uh, you know he had written down some excellent points in preparation for uh, this debate but unfortunately his two dogs ate those whatever he had written uh, there is nothing new in what ashutosh has said so let me concentrate on what abhijit and his dogs have mentioned about this this whole issue and abhijit i, I mean uh, really great going she has made some excellent points but can i please rebut her on a couple of points number 1 it doesn't matter whether uh, hindenburg are criminals or not it really doesn't to me it doesn't because let me give you an analogy let us say an ex finance minister we know of india is thoroughly corrupt in fact he is facing a lot of criminal charges of astounding corruption so we know how morally and ethically corrupt that ex finance minister is tomorrow he alleges that the present finance minister is thoroughly corrupt and has indulged in large scale corruption are you going to say that the present finance minister shall not be probed because the allegations are coming from the ex finance minister who is corrupt you can't do such things because this template as ashutosh no, correctly surely, points out is so uh, dr dr rangaraj uh, dr dr rangaranathan uh, surely there is surely there, there that, that doesn't difference. follow sorry rahul Rahul, there is a very specific and difference out here. And let me tell you, they there. have put there. Abhijit, just ten Sorry, seconds. Anand, Abhijit, one just second. Ten Anand, one second. Just ten seconds. Second. I just want to finish my point. Just finish my point. No, that. You see, the thing with Hindenburg is that they have put their money where their mouth is. No, that might they be all. They have bought in look, shares. Look, look, hang on, so hang on. So if they are wrong, look, one they second. They incur a lot of losses.